Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to create your own custom keyboard with Xcode 6 and iOS 8. So let's get started by creating a new project. We'll choose single view application under iOS application. I'm going to call mine custom keyboard tutorial and make sure your language is under Swift and we do not need to use core data. Uh, let's press next. Great. Okay, so under custom keyboard tutorial or your project name, and then under targets, we want to create a new target. So let's press this plus button, and under iOS application extension, we want to press custom keyboard extension. Next. And I'm going to call mine testing keyboard. Finish. And now here under targets, we have our testing keyboard extension. And now we also have this folder with a keyboard view controller in it. It is a UI input view controller. And to show you just how easy this is, I'm going to be copying a lot of Apple's code here verbatim for the uh, next keyboard button that they've already put in. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new IB outlet variable called testing keyboard so you want a button and to speed things up I'm going to copy these first four lines um, just with the testing keyboard rather than the next keyboard button okay so to this point I need to create my own function that's going to input the text into the text field when we press our button. So I'm going to create a function after this did receive memory warning called input text into field. Okay, so I'm just going to copy Apple again, create a vari variable called proxy equals self dot text document proxy as a UI text document proxy. Oh, looks like I put a minus sign instead of an equal sign here. Okay, cool. So I'm going to type proxy dot insert text here and just put in a string um, success and a space afterward and you'll see why in a second. So um, after that, we can just add our target to our testing keyboard. Testing keyboard, our target, self, actions, the literal function name, so input text into field, the control events, touch up inside. And then here, I'm just going to configure my testing keyboard a bit equals UI font. Um, we're going to use Helvetica because that's cool. <laughs> and we'll set it to 50. Um, now the only thing really left uh, that we're required to do is just add it to the view. Or add it as a subview to the view. So view add subview self.testing keyboard. Um, and you'll notice Apple has all of this layout constraint syntax going on. You don't really need to do this if you want to and you plan on, you know, adding more uh, buttons to your keyboard. This is definitely in your best interest, but I'm not going to go over it today. Um, so the last thing that we need to do is set our text color so that our text color will look appropriate depending if it's on a dark or light background. So, test and keyboard, set text color, title color, text color, for state, normal. All right, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and run on five. So, it'll run and the app should open with just a white page. This is where you would design your app, obviously. So let's press Shift Command H to go home and 
go into settings, we need to toggle our keyboard on. So let's go into keyboard, keyboards, add new keyboard, then under purchase keyboard you'll see custom keyboard tutorial. And then turn on our testing keyboard. Add keyboard, done, and let's go ahead and just press shift command H to go home. Now uh, I'm just going to pull down and under the spotlight search I'm going to press this globe to change keyboards, globe again, and then here we have our testing button and when we press it we have success and you'll see that space is in there uh, just to separate uh, the different successes. <laughs> Alright so that that's it, that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe because I'll be posting a lot more and leave a like and a comment if you wish. Hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.